What is up my YouTube people? I got a new knife. They're calling this the Hand 313. Here's a closer look at the knife for you. It's got a satin finish, full flat grind. The blade length is 3.5 inches. It has a choil right there, dual thumb studs, jimping, and the steel is listed right there, 14C28N. That's a Sandvik Swedish stainless steel. All right, multi-position pocket clip, as you can see. All right, now it looks like there wouldn't be much room to get your finger on the thumb studs, but that's actually not really a problem. This has a ceramic ball bearing pivot, so the pivot is super smooth, so it does open very smoothly. All right, let me see if I can flick it open here. There you go. Yeah, it's a it's a really smooth pivot. I mean, if you want to uh, if you want to just open it real fast, you can do so. This was forty five dollars. The handle scales are G ten slash micarta. This is the green. It's available in five different colors. Open pillar construction, thick liners. All right, textured scales. I have a large size hand and this fits my hand perfectly. All right, there's a little bit room left over if you have a bigger hand, but the indent fits, uh, fits my hand perfectly. I like how wide and stout and thick this is. This is definitely for use when you wish you could carry a small fixed blade, but for whatever reason, if you are not able to carry a small fixed blade, this is a, this is a great substitute in a folder. Yeah, I like that wide blade. That can actually get a lot of work done. Definitely. Hope you like the scenery out here. Yep, we're at the creek. Yeah, for $45, this is surprisingly well made. It's beefy. The lockup is very solid. There's no play. And you can see that there. It's a liner lock. All right, cutting a few things. Got some seatbelt type material. There you go. All right, I got a piece of a box. You need to break down a box for the recycling bin. Yeah, sharp. That's thick, too. All right, last but not least, got a piece of wood here. Turn it into a pointier piece of wood. Hope you enjoy the scenery. I'm very pleased with this knife. Yeah, if you want to whittle with this knife, you certainly could. This knife arrived very sharp as well. Let me roll in the footage. When I first got the knife, I did the old paper demo. Here's that. All right, I got this new knife. It's looking good. Paper test. Nice. Yeah, they did a good job. And while we are here, let's get a weight on this for you. All right, 6.8 ounces and 192.9 grams. All right, my people, here is the pocket clip. I'm also filming a review of this air gun the same day, but here it is in pocket. I'm left-handed, but let's just pretend I'm right-handed like most of you. All right, there it is. There's a close-up of that clip. You know, I originally got this knife because I really like that Sandvik steel, and also I like the blade shape. I like how wide they made this. You know, it's a folder, but it's got a big wide blade that can do some real work. Now, as soon as I got this in hand, and I saw that it was well made, you know, firsthand, I immediately ordered a second one in a different color. Right, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. The only possible drawback I would say would be that it's heavy. Now, I don't mind, you know, I don't mind that at all especially out here. But just so you know, some people would consider it uh, heavy for EDC. I mean, the thick-ass handle 
the wide thick handle that's actually a plus if you have big hands it, it fits well you know, it gives a more secure grip nice texture looks nice like the color it came sharp yeah this thing was rock solid I'm glad I got this like I said I immediately ordered another one and I'll probably even get a third one of these all right to uh, to use them give as a gift collect them I think the price was reasonable but I do think there's a chance that the price could go down right because that seems to always happen the last few sometimes they just sell the last few at like half price or something so on this the price could either go to, go down or they could just sell out entirely one or the other but I feel the price I paid was quite reasonable all right I hope you enjoyed seeing this review try to use the links below the video if you're in the USA those support the channel consider subscribing if you like cool stuff like this I'm out